Yo, what's up guys? Hi, Today we're at the Macau Food Festival. Yes, it's the 18th year this year mm -hmm. and it runs from the 9th to the 25th of November and we just happen to be here! So lucky! lucky, lucky Can't lucky. wait to explore and eat. eat this is everything. my kind of festival. This is amazing. This is my kind of festival, yeah! Wow, this looks incredible. Look at all this amazing festivities. Oh my god, this is the first time I've ever been to a food festival. Yes, same, same, same. I am same. so overwhelmed. And this is insane. Every stall is just food. Everything smells so good. The aromas. This is already the best smelling festival. Here, you've got some Shanghai dumplings, chicken. Wow, look at that. You got roast chicken just lying right there and it's right next to the Macau Tower I don't even know where to begin you know what we're gonna do let our nose lead the way that is the best way to do it whatever smells and looks good we'll eat look at this whole bunch of tables full of uncles and aunties just grubbing up I'm so excited this is better than a carnival this is better than the Melbourne show this is better than a music festival it's a goddamn food festival oh let's eat guys This place is so rowdy, it's so loud. There's just so much going on, I can't believe it. Oh, I want this. Is that, is that lobster? You got lobster covered in cheese, scallops. Look at these chefs, award-winning seafood chefs making fresh seafood straight from the tank. Incredible. All right, we're gonna start here, guys. They have lobster from Canada, a huge oyster from USA and a tiger prawn from Vietnam. We're starting off with that beautiful looking thing. While we wait for our food to cook, we're gonna get some dumplings from this stall. It looks so good. Oh, look at them go. Handcrafted. Amazing. You can smell all that steam. Looks so good. Must be so delicious. And look at all that variety to choose from. Here it is, guys. Look at it. Looks incredible. Whole bunch of flavoring on top and inside are scallops and a mussel and he cut it up for us let's try it oh my god there's like a concert going on down there i swear this place is hectic it is so crazy Go, that's babe, why it's called a food festival yay our first little treat just an appetizer oh you're right how's it so spicy oh really the spices went down my throat <laughs> oh no that's really good though the flavors I'm not good with spices, but I will do this. So oily and delicious. See, I told you it's spicy. It goes straight down into the Woo! Woo! God damn! <coughs> that was good. That hit. It triggered my throat straight away. Oh, besides that, the seafood itself, so fresh. <coughs> so we're gonna order this and this. We have no idea what's inside, but it looks really good and steamy. Woo! Beautiful. Here's our first one, it's a Pan fried bao. We've had this before in Japan. I don't know what's inside. We're gonna have to just find out. It's it's it piping hot. Like and here are the steamed dumplings. They look so good. Hopefully you can eat them and they're not pork. <laughs> yeah, it's always pork in these things. These are piping hot. Just touching this, it's it's blazing. Look at that. Looks incredible. So good. Lightly fried at the bottom, oily on the outside. We saw these getting handmade from the chef, so let's try it out. Mm. 
That is... That, I was not expecting much, to be honest. Look at that. I was not expecting much at all, but that, that really blew my mind. I, it's so crispy. And then the dough itself is so soft and the meat, so juicy. Amazing combo. Definitely pork inside. Very juicy, very oily. I mean, I'm in love with these dumplings. They're so bloody good. And they have a little bit of sesame on top. A little sprinkle makes it just beautiful. Next up, the steam version. Whole bunch of soup inside. Looks really hot too. Hopefully it doesn't burn my mouth, but it probably will. Mm. Not bad, not as good as the fried one, but some really nice flavors and a lot of soup in there. I mean, that's heavy, packed with a lot of deliciousness. I was very impressed by those dumplings, but our food journey is not over yet. There are so many stores you can choose from. I think we want to get a noodle dish now or something with beef. Some beef for Delane. All right, so here is the beef we're getting. Our beef ribeye steak, and it is so smoky right now. I can see and hear and smell all the grill, and the people here look very happy. The line's so long, but I think it's going to be worth it. Let's get it, girl. Listen, it's going to be hard to top Australian beef because we have some amazing cuts over back at home. But let's try out what Macau has to offer. Yeah. Everything here has been very good, very impressive, so we'll find out. Well, for a food festival and just a random store, I don't expect much from it, so yeah. we'll see. We're gonna get the Angus beef and also the grilled prawns, because they look incredible. Look at that, how could I say no to that? So juicy. So we just purchased the card which uh, loads up the money because some stores like this one, for example, does not accept cash. So we had to get a card. We got 300 Hong Kong in there. You get some uh, game coupons as well, so interesting. Ain't this just perfect? when the girl of your dreams brings the food that you'll be dreaming about. Look at that prawn. Look at that steak. So it comes on a bed of vegetables. This one just looks incredible. I don't even know what to say. Just the flavors and the smells, the aromas. I want to try it straight away. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm looking at it, it looks well done. Oh yeah. How's that? Chewy or is it melting? I don't know. It was only a few bucks, so I don't expect, you know, Wagyu beef. It's not super chewy, but it definitely does not melt in your mouth. It ain't some Colbert beef or anything. Yeah, else. yeah. Um, Listen, we don't expect don't much from an $8 it dish. Just like a teriyaki beef sauce, to be honest. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like, guys. You know, cooked the whole way through, but I get it. It's a barbecue, you know? They're serving people endlessly. Can't expect it to be ultimate chef quality. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like. Lucky I got these prawns because the beef is a little bit disappointing. She's peeling it with two forks, the ultimate Guaylo experience. I definitely don't want to get my hands dirty because I'm going to eat more food. Yeah, there you go. You got most right, of the there meat we go. on there. That's Can I see good. it? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a nice piece of prawn. Looks juicy, barbecued. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> it's okay. There you go, guys. That's still. Yeah. It's better than the beef though, I would say. Yeah. And the prawns are cooked really well. Alright, on to the next stall. Next up are these oyster pancakes, and the line is bloody long as hell. So it must be good, right? Delane is not a big fan of oysters. I am not the biggest either, but we'll do it for food science and Macau. Now, this is what we're after. Tell me that doesn't look good. Oh my god. I don't even like oysters, but that looks incredible. What I love about night market food is that you get to watch the chef perform what he does best, cook in front of you. Look at that, right now he's got oysters cooking, they chuck the batter on top and you've got some delicious food. 
beautiful. Bloody beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You like oysters, babe? No, I don't. Uh, but you like the pancakes are really like chewy and gooey. So maybe you'll like that. Or maybe it'll turn you off. We'll see. Yeah. I'll try it. <laughs> All right, let's see what ingredients are in here. We've got oysters, a bit of oil. Oh, a bit more oil. Yes. Gotta love it. Cracking some eggs. Look at that Bruce Lee shit. Nice. Nice. Bit of veggies. Please, no, no, no veggies, my please. This is art. This is absolute art. It's smelling art as well. It smells delicious. It smells so good. Now, the pancake batter. Look at that. And that creates that gooey consistency that you get from oyster pancakes. I think they're called oyster pancakes. Listen, I don't know anything. Where's Kelvin? Where's Kelvin when you need him? Alright guys, get ready for the flip. The most important part is perfecting that flip. Half the flavor's in the flip, guys. Oh yeah, a bit more oil. That's a third time he's smothered that thing in delicious oils. Yeah, my face is gonna love that tomorrow. Oh, here it is, guys. You ready? Woo! Get that flip, get that flip. Yeah, look how bouncy it is. So elastic -y. It looks like it's gonna be so delicious. Yum, can't wait to eat, guys. Nice. And then drizzle it on top with that sweet chili sauce. Incredible. Incredible. So we had to wait a little while, but it didn't feel that long because the chef was just so magical yes. cooking this delicious pancake. I could not. It was lots of fun watching it. It was. It was great. It smelled nice. It looked awesome. And now for the taste. Mm, so it smells like a sweet chili kind of sauce. Yeah. Get that pool. Get that pool. Show. Look at it. It's actually blubber. Oh yeah. Strange texture. I know, it's always like that. It's very mushy and I love that. Let's try it out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it just because the texture is very new to me. Yeah. I've never eaten anything like this before. It's very slimy and yeah. squishy. I love that though. That's what I love about this dish, that it's slimy, it's gooey, it's got fresh oysters, a fried egg, and some vegetables. Let's try it. Okay, now I'm gonna get a big piece. I'm gonna go for that chopstick chop. Tell me that don't look good. Gooey, delicious, steaming. I mean, could do without the greens. All right, I gotta eat it before it just falls on me. Ooh, the oysters are so good. I love how fresh the oysters are. They're small, so you don't get too much of that grainy kind of seafood taste. And uh, it's not the oysters that are the highlight. It's just everything combined as one simple yet delicious dish. I see why the line is so long, because this is one hell of a delicious meal. Oh, come on. Get in my belly, baby. Mm. Love it. Love it. Wake up, wake up, wake up, Look at them chickens. Look at all those chickens. Next up is Shanghai four five six. We're getting some steamed egg. Buns. I think this thing right there. Yeah. Steamed mash egg yolk buns. The festival is slowly dying down and we are on our way to desserts right now. We've got ourselves some mashed egg yolk buns. 
Smashed egg yolk bun. Is that what it was? Yes. <laughs> it just sounds funny. I know, it sounds ridiculous. What are you doing with the chopsticks? Well, they gave us chopsticks. Uh, gotta make use of it. Looks soft. <laughs> is it good? The bun is really good. Yeah. But it is egg. Is, egg is it that yolk yolky egg thing? Egg yolk? Yes, yeah. yes, it is. I know. So, I thought so. But it's really good compared to the 7 Eleven one we had. Alright. Can I look inside? Oh. You know what? I'm going to try one. Okay. Mm. Yum. Very eggy, but not as eggy as the 7 Eleven one. It's like a mild taste. But the bun, so sweet and soft. Mm. Oh! It don't work! No, I tried again, it still don't work. Oh, it's a Mac Campus. Oh. Hey, it ain't a festival without one of these potato tornado things. Uh, it's alright guys, because that's a uh, potato from Macau, so. <laughs> Dessert time guys, we're gonna eat some dog. Well, not real dog, it's just something. Some sort of pancake thing, maybe custard inside? Let's find out. A little pig, a little piglet. Getting some gelati, I'm going straight for that one. The tofu ice cream, what? First time trying tofu gelato. Looks like tofu already, like straight from the box, okay. It's like soybean, pretty much. Like a soybean, but creamy. Um, interesting, very interesting flavors. I don't mind it though. It's quite good. No smell. It's <laughs> oh my god, it's so weird. As soon as you like put it in your mouth, it tastes exactly like tofu. And then yeah. you've got that sweet aftertaste. Yeah, a bit of creamy sweetness afterwards. But it tastes like tofu you get from Springvale. <laughs> That's quite strange. Hey, how you doing? Hi. What's up? More gelato. Forever rich. I need my chocolate fix for today. Yes, gelato. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Got some Macau cookies from this stall. Amazing stuff. <laughs> anyway, I found out that this is not actually a dessert. It is cheese and bacon in there. Goddamn meat inside that doggy. I don't know how I feel about that, but let's have a try. Oh, look at it. <laughs> but it's here. Mm. Oh no, half of his face is gone. Oh, that's funny. Yay! <laughs> this is such a good Ferrero Rocher gelato ice cream. I mean gelato. I know, I say that too. I always say it's gelato and then I say it's an ice cream. But you <laughs> Very just you delicious just win gelato. And put them together. It tastes exactly like Ferrero Rocher. And then you've got um, the crispy bits of the Ferrero itself. So it's so delicious. You mean the, oh right, yeah. So the wafer mm. and also the nuts. Delicious. This, however, is disappointing and it took 35 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I got it for the dog face. <laughs> Be careful, don't put too much money inside this card because you don't get your cash back. We learned the hard way by, by ordering more food than we could possibly eat. And that's the end of the Macau Food Festival. Festival. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the cuisines they had to offer. Such a good time, I'm absolutely stuffed. 
Mm. It was a really good experience. Mm. And definitely recommend if you're ever in Macau during the food festival. Yes, happens once a year and you'll have a great time. All right, guys, take care. Yay. See you later. Bye. Bye.